is pretty big. It is pretty big, and it's like split. There's a room here? You'd have to like really crane your- Oh, look at the fucking Pluto! Oh man, oh man, look at all this shit! This is where a Disney executive lived. You go under, thank you. Who needs a house when you can buy a battleship and not worry about an HOA or the ATF? True. True. Oh yeah. Uh, some, some fucking at Disney lived here. And he would sit in this chair and he would invite, he would invite the lead animators in and he'd be like, so. I know you do your job wonderfully. But we're coming out with a new Disney movie. It's gonna be a celebration of our 100th anniversary. We're gonna call it Wish. You know, it's gonna be a nice homage to our theme, to our branding of When you wish upon a star, right? It's gonna be an homage to that. And it's gonna have a bunch of references to like every Disney movie that's ever come out. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? All right. How are we gonna make this? How are we gonna make this? Pitch some ideas to me right now. All right. And the animators, they're trembling. They're shaking. They're holding a bottle. They're not holding a bottle. They're holding a glass that's half filled with wine where one bottle costs more than they'll make in a year. All right. Because they're animators. They don't get paid. This is just, this is just Franzia. The Disney executive gave them Franzia. He saves the real wine for himself. Anyways. Okay. So they're sitting there trembling. All right. And they're wiping the sweat off their face and they're sipping their Franzia and they're like, Maybe, maybe, maybe we can do like 2D animation as as an homage to the to the great Disney classics, to the great Disney Renaissance, right? And the Disney executive he slaps them. He's like, no, no, no. we cannot make an animated 2D masterpiece. We're Disney. We gotta sell shit. We gotta sell slop. Do we look like? For some reason, the Netflix originals that are always really good? Do we look like? No, the Netflix originals that are animated. All right, like Klaus. All right, that's just like fucking amazing. Okay. Disney, the, the Disney executive. Like, no, no. Do we look like one of them Japanese studios that actually cares about their products? You fool. Make it 3D. And the animators, they're like, okay, okay, we can do that. We can do that. All right. Um, you know, Pixar, we can bring some of those guys over. They're doing some some amazing technology. They just came out with, with a movie that wasn't very good story-wise, but the, the fucking, the, the, the technology behind it was amazing. It was called Elements or some shit, whatever. We'll do that. And the, and the executive, he slaps them again. He's like, no. Make it look unrendered. Paint the background so it looks flat. We want to go for discount storybook. You know when you walk into fucking Walmart and there's the storybook section that nobody goes into positioned next to the magazines because children don't read anymore and adults don't read anymore? Nobody goes to the magazine section. That's where we have our little the little our little books with the gold leaf trim. You know those? You know those? And the animators, he's shaking his head. He's shaking his head. And the executive's like, Man, look like that. And the animator was like, okay. Okay. We'll have an unshaded movie that looks like shit. All the character designs will be terrible. And will be like background characters. From those shitty little Disney books. That they sell in the magazine section of the grocery store. Oh. And the animator, he smiles and he's like, alright. And we'll use chat GP to generate the script. We're firing our writing team. And the animator's like, oh, thank God it wasn't me this time. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm glad I survived another Disney layoff. Does this mean... Does this, does this mean I can be invited onto the... Onto, onto your seventh yacht you intend to purchase with the, with the money from our, from, our, from our staff layoffs? And the executive, he looks down at him and he says... Depends. You have any children? Okay, anyways... Oh, wow, this is neat. I guess they were really into Star Wars. This is cute. Look at the little, uh, what is this? Like, C-3PO? Whatever the fuck this is. And there's like a Chewbacca back there. This is really cool. This is really cool. I like this. <laughs> I oh! Wow! B8. 
Oh, okay. The Star Wars Theater. Yeah, this is really cool. Sergeant Buck, thank you. When are you getting put out... When are you putting out your official review of Atlas Shrugged? What? For the $10? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back. Go back to what? One of the other pictures? It's pretty cool. The pillow is a little bit silly. But it's a, it's a very interesting room. Very interesting room with a bar here. This is where the this is where the Disney animators get paid ten dollars an hour to serve this guy this Disney executive's family. Orange juice, margaritas. Is that a drink? I don't know. Is this authentic? Is this like authentic from the set? It's probably gotta be, right? If you're if you're living in uh, yeah, look at this. Look look at Disney executive ass house. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god. I would expect the TVs to take up like the entire wall. For some reason, when I imagine rich people houses, I just imagine their TVs are like built into the wall and they take up like floor to ceiling. It's short for a real Wookiee. 100% Disney exec house. Yeah. Does that ladder actually go anywhere? I have no idea. Very cool bath bathroom. Shower. I like walk-in showers. This is... You're this rich, and your children have to share a bedroom? Are you kidding me? Buddy, you could pay to have an entire another house built for your children, and you're gonna make them share a room? You fucking psychopath. You're insane. You're insane. Yeah, and the beds facing each other is really weird. Not the fucking C-3PO dish thing. Not dish thing, soap thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. What the fuck? It's actually kind of plain. Am I crazy? I guess it shouldn't be surprising that the house of a Disney executive is as soulless as, as the, the suits running the business, but... That's a cool door. I like doors that have, like, engravings on them. I think they're, I think they're very special. It's pretty plain. It's incredibly plain. Oh no, you can't have that! Oh no, contraband spotted! Illegal contraband spotted! That's toothless! That's not Disney! That's like DreamWorks or something! Oh no! Double agent spotted. It's fucking over. Oh man! Oh, it's so over for you guys. It's so over. Oh man. Oh man. They're fucking dead. This is why the house is up for sale. One of the children of the house was like, My favorite character is Toothless. And the Disney executive was like, Surely you mean, sure you, you mean one of Disney's marketable characters, right? You like Olaf? And, and the child was like, No, I like Toothless. And the Disney executive was like, <gasps> Okay. Okay, anything for my little princess. And so he put up some Toothless stuff. And then the, and then the, um, and then the other Disney executives took him out behind the shed and killed him. And they took all of his money and they added it to their dragon wealth piles. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace.